are these people? Um, but we have uh, the always funny Jimmy Dore um, with a quick clip about, you know, just to get everyone kind of up to speed on where things are at. So we'll play that and we'll be back to it. No sound about Ukraine, and they got raided by the FBI. FBI raids St. Louis Black Liberation Group alleging Russian ties. Here it is. They're just doing it. Federal investigators raided the offices and homes of leaders involved with local Black Liberation Group under suspicion of Russian collusion early Friday morning. Officials of the Uhuru Solidarity Movement and, and African People's Socialist Party said the FBI performed a violent raid with flash grenades and drones around 5 a.m. Friday morning. At a news conference Friday, Chairman Omal Yeshitadela said he and his wife were handcuffed during the raid as investigators searched their home. He said the FBI threw flash grenades into his home and performed the raid without knocking. Oh, it's one of those no-knock things. <laughs> wow. So they're still doing that. How far we've come. Wow. Yeshitela said the FBI believes the Uhuru movement and African People's Socialist Party may somehow be involved with Russia's tampering in U.S. elections. Notice how no liberals freaked out when uh, they do a no-knock warrant raid on a bunch of black people because they're socialists. That's they're right. Allegedly tied to Russia. This is like drug dealer treatment. Yep. They treat drug dealers better than that. I know. I if they too bad they didn't have any drugs, maybe buy some better treatment that you could get. <laughs> what they have claimed is that they are indicting someone, a Russian nationalist who is a Russian, Yeshitela said. They have claimed that they were investigating the African People's Socialist Party that I lead in the Uhuru movement because of some association that we might have with the Russian government. According to a federal indictment obtained by the Times, Alexander Viktorovich Lanov is alleged to have worked with unnamed officers of Russia's Federal Security Service to use members of U.S. political groups as foreign agents of Russia. So, I mean, of course they're doing this. This is all... I, I told you all they have to do is say you're a terrorist and they can take your rights away and do anything they want and lock you up indefinitely. And all they got to do is say you're working with Russia and they can fucking do this, too. And they're doing it Here. to black socialists. Go um, yeah. So thoughts so far, Colin? I mean. <laughs> it's funny, you know, just being. A black person that I could be accused of working with Russians and that will give police or the FBI excuse to raid my house. Isn't you know? that crazy? Well, like I don't it, it's crazy. I think it's it's crazy in theory, but considering you know the times that we live in, no. That group of so you know? um but of course, you know, it kind of leads into the previous story, you know, like uh, these are socialist groups who happen to be of color. So, and we've seen this in history, you know, think of the Black Panthers, for example, you know, like uh, government considers them a threat. Yeah. So, of course, yeah. you know, like, and I'm sure uh, these groups know that. So, yeah. you know, given the history, you know, but I think it's just funny that how people might associate, you know, oh, what happened to the Black Panthers and even more on Luther King and, and Malcolm X, that happened, you know, like ages ago. That's not going to happen now. No, like it's still happening. Yeah. You know, so, um, so yeah, that's just kind of where my thought w went. It's just like, I, I think if you're, if you're considered a revolutionary, you know, you this is on par for the course for you. Like this is, y y this should be an ex expectation, you know, that you yeah. know, have stuff like yeah. this happen to you. Yeah, which is anyway. Um, so another um, organization spoke out on this uh, attack happening, um, you know, which is just it's real McCarthyite in nature at this point, um, you know, um, but so the Black Alliance for Peace, otherwise known as the BAP or BAP, 
unequivocally condemns and oppress, uh, opposes the latest domestic U.S. state uh, repression and intimidation tactic uh, currently being leveled against the African People's Socialist Party, the APSP. So on Friday, July 29th, 2022, um, the FBI ex executed multiple raids against APSP's Uhuru House in St. Petersburg, Florida, and their Uhuru Solidarity Center in St. Louis, Missouri, and the private residence of the APSP chairman, Omali, uh, Omali Yeshitela. Also in St. Louis, the FBI employed flashbang grenades and handcuffed Yeshitela and his wife while their house was raided. The FBI claims that the raids are connected to the federal indictment of a Russian national, Alexander Ionov, uh, alleging that he has been working to spread Russian propaganda in the United States. Um, BAP believes that these raids continue the history of state repression directed against black people in the U.S. This repression now occurs under the guise of opposing adversary nations. But regardless of how the, these actions are characterized, black people still bear the brunt of surveillance and police violence. The APSP has the right to freely associate with people around the world, to hold any political beliefs it may choose, and to express them without fear of intimidation, persecution, or prosecution. We believe this re uh, repression to be a hysterical response to the United States' loss of legitimacy in the context of a deepening crisis of capitalism and U.S. global hegemony. Uh, the unleashing of policing and counterintelligent forces domestically and increased militarism and warmongering abroad in the name of national security are the only avenues left to the U.S. ruling class that is engulfed in an irreversible economic crisis. They represent the hallmarks of a naked fascism that the U.S. ruling class appears to be increasingly committed to in order to maintain the rule of capital. BAP reminds the public that the war against working class people generally and black, brown, and indigenous workers particularly is ongoing. The masses must acknowledge and resist this reality. While it is APSP today, it will, be, it will ultimately be the rest of us tomorrow. Resistance is our only option. Thoughts, Colin? Didn't I just basically say that earlier? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is history repeating itself. You know? Yeah. But I think it just goes to show how much we need to... And I think this is my frustration. I've shared this many times, you know, on this show. You know, I think we organize but not we organize but not know the history of the organization of people that came before so like i'm sure for these people they were just like okay yeah you yeah. know but anyone who is not aware that this is what should be happening would be more like i think more surprised and it really shouldn't be um i think in terms of um you know, the idea that the FBI would do something like this. But again, like, if you are considered a revolutionary, you are a threat to the government, you know, yeah. because you undermine, you know, the stakes of what capitalism uh, and imperialism mean, you know, to this country, as well as basically in the West. So it shouldn't be surprising, but, you know, but I think it just goes to show you, you know, like, this has been happening, honestly, as old as time basically yeah. you know like people who resist are going to get you know get pushed back you know from government you know we see it throughout history and you're seeing it now so um so, so yeah i mean it, sh it shouldn't be surprising but i think you know but i think this should be an example for people that this is what you come up against when you resist against you know the powers that be so bat continues Given our steadfast commitment to rebuilding the broader anti-war, anti-imperialist peace movement, BAP is not intimidated and will not retreat. We are guided by the position articulated by the Black is Back Coalition, of which BAP is a proud member, that now is the time to throw off all hesitation, open up new forms of struggle, and to launch every protest, demonstration, and anti-imperialist action from the ballot box to the barricades. As an act to deepen the crisis of imperialism, the treatment of the APSP is, a rem is reminiscent of McCarthyist witch hunts 
that targeted and criminalized workers, immigrants, and colonized people who organized domestically and internationally against capitalist imperialism. Likewise, the FBI's actions represent Cointelpro like tactics employed to crush organizations and individuals fighting to protect and expand the rights of oppressed people in general and Africans in particular. These tactics come back forcefully in response to the 2014 uprisings in Ferguson, Missouri. FBI agents track the movements and monitor the individuals tied to the protests in 2016. With the murder of Freddie Gray, ignited protests in Baltimore, the FBI admitted to providing an aircraft for surveillance in the weeks following the unrest. In 2017, the FBI created the designation Black Identity Extremist to monitor black movement organizers the term was updated to racially motivated violent extremism in 2018. FBI surveillance was ramping was rampant going into the summer 2020 rebellions with FBI agents attempting to infiltrate protests in Portland. The black population in the United States has historically stood at the forefront of resistance and condemnations of war and state repression. In this spirit, the Black Alliance for Peace reiterates the, cru the critical moral stance against such government aggressions and stands in resolute solidarity with the APSP. So, by comprehensively linking the issue of state violence and militarism, BAP will conti continue to concentrate its efforts on not only opposing the U.S. war agenda globally, but the war and repression being waged on black and brown communities within U.S. borders. In this charge, the Black Alliance for Peace says there will be no compromise and no retreat, uh, which is a statement from the BAP Coordinating Committee. So, um, I think it that sounded great. Someone's decent writer over there. Um, yeah. So, but, yeah, I mean, I, I, I saw no faults for the most part. I saw no faults either, but again, you know, just to kind of say it again, you know, you do revolutionary work. This is what you can expect will happen to you. So, but I think if you know your history, you can expect you are going to get some pushback from government officials, FBI, whoever it is. So I think it's just the idea of knowing, okay, if this happens, what do we do? You know, right. versus being surprised at it, you know, so um if any yeah, of the audience I mean, can reach out to any of those organizations be happy to talk to people from them as well 